Hello friends, it's Tuesday. I have successfully showered and washed my hair, which for those of you who have chronic fatigue, ooh, nearly fell over there, uh, will know that is a huge achievement. It is a weekly thing that I do. Um, I don't have the energy to shower every day. And honestly, <sighs> I don't really need it. I don't do a lot of wandering around. If I get real sweaty because of symptoms or something, I'll have a quick shower, but I don't wash my hair more than once a week. Um, anyway, I just did that. Uh, you might be able to hear the vacuum going on in the background. Tuesday is cleaning day. We have a very awesome couple, local couple that come in and do an hour of cleaning for me and an hour of cleaning for mom. And then they do the shop uh, every other week or something like that. I can't remember. Um, yes, uh, I actually planned this very poorly because I should have had a shower yesterday, but then by the time I realized that I should have had a shower yesterday, it was too late and I was too tired. <laughs> so, uh, I actually have a meeting with Alice of Wool Matters. We are meeting to do some foraging and some filming for Vlogmas socially distanced masks. We're just meeting up um, to go for a little walk, um, combining work with some exercise. Um, I haven't been out of the house all week, so that'll be really nice. And yeah, and I have to leave really soon and I need to have something to eat. Um, it's a mess down here. Obviously it's cleaning day, so everything, everything is a mess. We, um, started the kittens advent calendars a day early because they were very good last night and um i didn't realize that it was all catnip every single day is catnip so that should be fun <laughs> they've never really been exposed to catnip before and they went absolutely crazy uh, and ferocious and you wouldn't think that my sweet babies would bite and scratch but they um they were they, they had their claws out which is hilarious because they've never ever done that before. Um, anyway, I'm just getting things ready. I'm gonna go find some lunch and the next time you see me, I'll probably be out foraging with Alice. <sighs> All right, who's a sleepy kitten? Who's a sleepy co-host? She's not really pulling her weight, is she? <laughs> Hello everyone, so I'm here with little little Roxy, and I'm here with my friend Alice and and Mama, and we are gonna do a little bit of foraging out in the West Country English side. English side? Yes. <laughs> so let's go see what we can find. That's what we're looking for today: evergreens.
So, while Alice and Rox here are off exploring, yeah. they're, um, they're up there exploring. Rox has just decided to climb up some rocks, which is, you know, what kids do. <laughs> um, I thought I'd tell you a funny little anecdote about living in America versus living in the UK. So when I was growing up, we lived, uh, we had a summer house near um, a national state park and I used to go and do the junior ranger program there. And I learned everything there was to learn about Douglas firs, redwoods, lady ferns, sword ferns, liquor ferns, everything to do with the nature uh, in California. And then I came here and none of those rules apply, literally none of them. <laughs> So I can't identify any plants. Mom, you're the same, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, mom grew up in South Africa, so that's that's three countries. Um, but anyway, so it's quite funny, like when I see um, ivy here in the UK, I immediately go through this little rhyme that uh, we were taught when we were kids, which is three leaves, leave it be. If it's hairy, it's a berry. If it's shiny, watch your hiney because <laughs> because of course poison ivy and poison oak is a really big thing but of course that doesn't really apply here what you have to be careful of in the uk is nettles they will sting you and get you real bad <laughs> so that's quite fun Did we stumble? Did we fall in the mud? Uh oh. oh. <laughs> That's okay. It's just a bit of mud. There's loads of ivy here. So that's good. Oh, look at that. Happy accident. Yeah. These look really new. They do, they look really, really fresh. I'm not sure if that's the best for dying. Mmm. I also really wonder if, you know, because they're. The berries, some of the berries are already out. Okay, yeah. yeah. These little black ones because they're really cool. Oh, okay. black ones? Yeah, they're like black. Have higher levels of whatever Mama. color particle Mama. because of the energy it's Mama. putting out. So I'm really wondering about that, just like new plants and all that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's really It's so funny, like, because we climb. Yeah. Like, she's, and she's seen us climb, and it's like every time she sees rocks, she's like, oh, yeah. So that's what you're looking at, probably in the dive pot. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So you would look at this fern here, yeah. which is the fresh one, and then you'd look at the dry fern and you'd be like, that might be what we get. Yeah, yeah.
look at all the mistletoe. It's That's so amazing. Cool. It's the perfect time of year for mistletoe, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I love how they make these crosses. It's literally like, you know that scenery? It's like trees and then all these dots, 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 dots. Yeah, it almost like looks... a little sponge and your sponge paint, didn't you guys? <laughs> Happy little mistletoe. This is, so, yeah, so this has got to be holly because it's super spiky and it's got red berries. My mom is having way too much fun. Yeah, you were at the nursery the other day? Yeah, and they had a male and a female. And you have to have both? And it said, if you want berries, you have to have both. I did not know that. How do you know that either? Well, that must be, like, you know those... I'm shook. <laughs> There's lots of vegetables where you need a male and a female plant next to each other. Like cucumbers, even. I mean, it um, makes sense. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe... Not maybe not every variety because yeah. you know nowadays yeah. you get hybrids that have been modified so they might be able to self pollinate. pollinate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but like That's heritage cool. seeds, very often you need two different kinds of plants to do that. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah very interesting. That. That is so cool. Those at home. Tell me about these. Tell me about them. So, yeah. <gasps> this is probably my favorite skein so far, to be honest. Oh, I'll spread all of the colors in it. Um, <gasps> and it's got an alum mordant on, and I yeah. put it in the pot. Um, and on the top, I don't know why, but the or oak bark dye pot makes like a layer of pigment on the top. Interesting. Really like a sort of mother. Yeah, yeah. Really. I don't know why, but you can't see anything. It's not like, That's you know, when it's like a mother, you would feel like some sort of squishiness mm -hmm. or some something. But there it's literally just a little pigment okay. on the surface. And that's what made these that's what made the stripes. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's so unusual to find like a, not like a stripey, but like a variegated natural dye without having to do many different layers. Yeah. So the base of this is from a small mill in Devon, which is called John Arbor Textile. They're awesome. This is their, their base. It's called Devonia. Okay. So they have lots of their own colorways on that base. Yeah. Um, but they sell it undyed to dyers. That's amazing. Um, so I've been, I've decided to use it because it's brilliant. It's yeah. so soft. It's got 20% Wensleydale. Mm -hmm. It's got 50% Exmoor Blueface. Mm -hmm. And it's got 30% Blueface Leicester. So That's a really all nice combo. the wool comes from Devon. So very, very close to the mill. And as we were just literally one one county, county over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one county over. Um, and yeah. where I'm dying it, it's so local, which is why I chose it because um, and I've also decided to just call it my southwest base. Oh, which brilliant because it just is represents what it is because I wanted something really local. Yeah. So this is gonna be one of my two bases that I'm gonna work with. Um, I wish you guys could have... see my face right now. I'm like, I'm just like grinning with excitement. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna have it in Fort Ply and EK. This is the Fort Ply. Fantastic. And it's just so soft. Like personally, I'm a no itchy wool person. I can't handle it. Yeah, it's life's like, too short. <laughs> um, so, and this doesn't itch, literally. Amazing. It's the blue face. Give it a good color. Blue face last year is my favorite sheep, which I think everyone knows is my favorite fleece. So I'm so excited you've managed to incorporate that. <gasps> yes! Wicked. Thank you for hanging out with me today, Alice. Oh, thank you. It was so amazing to see someone outside. I know. It was beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'll see you soon. Yeah. And I'll see you all also, probably soon, 
on the Vlogmas. <laughs> Happy Bye. Vlogmas! Hi! It is, so let me get this. <laughs> yeah. Let me get it properly. Okay. It is. We can cut um, and we can we yeah. can we can sort it out. We'll make sure we get it right. <laughs>